Hey everybody, this is David Wells, host of HubSpot's Inbound Now, and today I'm going to show you how to use HubSpot's WordPress plugin to optimize your site with calls to action. If you haven't already watched my setup video, go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description below. So once you're all set up uh, and the plugin is installed, you're going to see these two extra menus in your WordPress install here. And one is the call to action menu, and then the other would be the HubSpot menu, where you can access your dashboard and a couple other things like the settings and help. The call to action menu is a great way to get all of your calls to action in one place, and then be able to easily insert these into different pages and posts and sidebars on your site. So to add a call to action, simply click add new call to action. That'll pull up the call to action editor, which looks identical to you know, how you create a post and a page within WordPress. So here's where you type the title of your uh, call to action. And here is where you'd insert the image into your call to action. So click on the add image button, browse your computer and find where that file is, that call to action button, upload it and then click insert into post. Once your image is uploaded into the post, you're gonna to wanna to hyperlink this image so when someone clicks on it, you take them to that landing page. So to change the link to this image, click it and then click the insert edit link button. And then you're gonna to wanna to edit this link URL to point to your landing page. And once you change that link, go ahead and click update. And now your call to action is ready to go. Make sure you name it something that you'll remember it later. This is for your internal use and no one else is going to see this, but it's going to come in handy later and I'm going to show you when. But go ahead and click publish and this will be published to the back end of your site. No one's going to be able to see this, but it'll be in the options later to add it into different pages and different posts. So now that action is created, and I'm going to go to the main call to action menu and show you what that looks like. So this is the main call to action menu where all the different calls to action that you have created for your site will be. And once you start inserting them into posts and pages, you're going to start to see the number of impressions that they're getting and actually the click through rates of those calls to action. So this is going to give you a powerful view, you know, going forward what to tweak and adjust moving forward, what calls to action are working, what aren't, and you can replace underperforming calls to action with better ones and better offers. So this is a very powerful dashboard um, and it will give you some cool stats uh, coming back at you. So now once your calls to action are created and inserted into the call to action uh, area, I'm gonna show you the two places that you can use these calls to action on different pages, posts, and sidebars of your site. So the first, I'm gonna show you how to insert this into a new blog post. So go ahead and click add new blog post. So when you've created the new blog post, you know, you have a great headline, you say a bunch of stuff. Now you want those people finding this post, you want them to convert. So you wanna go ahead and add in one of those call to action buttons into the bottom middle or top of your post. And to do that very easily, simply click on the HubSpot Add HubSpot Shortcodes button right here. It's the little HubSpot logo. That's gonna pop up this menu right here. There's a couple other shortcodes that you can insert, but go ahead and click on the Call to Action tab right here. And here's where you're gonna see all of the different calls to action you have created um, in your Call to Action module. So basically what you can do is just select one, whatever has to do with the post, or you can select multiple ones. And then go ahead and click insert. And as you can see, that has inserted these three calls to action in this short code format. Once I click publish this post and look at the, the post that's actually published, or I could even preview it, these are actually gonna render in those call to action images and links that we set up in the call to action module. So don't worry that it looks like this right now. So if I go ahead and preview this, it's gonna look like this. This is one of the uh, three calls to action that I have in that code there. If I were to refresh this page, it'll show another call to action. 
And to add this into a page on your site, it works the same way in the editor. Just click on the HubSpot shortcodes button right there. So now I'm gonna show you the second option of how to insert these into your, your site. And that would be by the widget, the sidebar widget. So on the left-hand side here, under appearance, you're gonna to wanna to click on widgets. Here's where you have all of your available widgets that you can drag and drop into your different sidebars or you may just have one sidebar. It depends on your theme setup, but you're gonna to wanna to choose the HubSpot Action Widget and drag that over. And what that's gonna do is give you, again, all of those calls to action that you put into that call to action module right here. So again, you can just click with the ones that you wanna show and rotate and then save that widget. And that's gonna be live on your site on those multiple pages. And it's really as easy as that, adding in your calls to action in the call to action area, and you're gonna get those stats back to help you with your marketing efforts moving forward.